Hey guys, and welcome to Mega Man Zero Two. Okay, so this will this play will be occurring every Monday because it's Mega Man Monday. Well, there will be very various Mega Man games throughout all the Mega Man series. So this is one of my probably my favorite Zero game is Mega Man Zero Two. It's a lot of fun. It has an amazing intro. So let's go check that intro out. Just walking through the grass. No, I mean the desert. It has been a year since Zero chose to take a different path from CL. He still fights against Neo Arcadia. But these battles have lost meaning for him. Zero knows that to find his purpose, he should find CL and the Resistance soldiers. Yeah. Oh, looks like the sandstorm's clearing up here. Ah, more people to fight, though. And I'm not gonna talk here. Let's go. This is my favorite out of all the Mega Man Zero games. This probably is my favorite song, so... We still have the same intro thing from Zero One. As you can see, though, Zero is slightly injured at the top left there. Compared to Zero One, he has a lot more scuff marks and he's more banged up. And I prefer this type of battle, Sheen. That way I can just use a different button. So we're just going to slice these guys, because why not? And uh, you will stop doing this eventually, but for right now we're just going to keep slashing him. Because, of, oh, there it is, this isn't fun anymore. That means you're basically done with, like, the achievement, not achievement. You can jump over that guy if you're really good. So basically, it has the same things from Zero One. The controls are pretty much all the same. Although you do start off with the Z-Saber this time, compared to the one where you get it in the first mission. So basically, this you'll fight the same enemies from in Zero One. They all have this, most of them have the same patterns for this one, when it shoots in the left, you just jump, be on the left side, and when it shoots in the right, be on the right side, to be, yeah. And then you fight another one of these, just go down there when you need to. Wow, I've done this pretty well right now. Then he's dead. It stops. You can't move during this cutscene because you can fall through the hole there. And that's a cyber elf. Aw, oh, darn. So much for no damage. So those birds are pr one of the hardest enemies to dodge in this stage. <laughs> so like right there, that one's pretty ambiguous. And over here, we're going to come up on a hidden cyber elf. These little things are called cyber elves, like packets, I think. And now we have a boss. So at the end of each stage, if you don't know what a Mega Man game is, you always fight a boss at the end. Which you, in the no original Mega Man games, you would just take his power up. In the Zero games, it's generally just a fight, and you sometimes get something. That's pretty much what it is. So this one isn't too hard. A simple attack its head and it can block it you can actually destroy that thing so yeah, but just don't fall in that hole there and you should be fine simple boss it really is A pretty simple boss. You could then at the end of there's a results screen, so let's see how I did. So I did I did take damage. But that's a pretty good score. This is the only stage I'm probably gonna get that score. Somehow I did it. But it it cost me everything. And we passed out. 
Lucky ass is laying on the floor. At least uh, our eyes aren't getting sandy right now. We have ominous zero one music here. Zero. To live or to perish. Hmm. And rip. We died. Zero's there's dead. Game over. Everyone dies. It's kind of weird. It's always one of those situations where this happens. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks to your great efforts, it gives me great pleasure to announce the completion of this new resistance base. I thank you all for accepting me, accepting me as the commander of this new base. I promise to bring a, about a new era of peace. I don't understand how the front of his hair works. Hooray! Yeah! Victory! For peace! Yeah! Ha ha ha! I'm still a little embarrassed when I think about being a commander. Are you sure about this? Trusting our fate to a reploid like me? Absolutely! It was you who organized us to fight against the Arcadia when we were barely able to escape from there. I'm flattered, but you helped me all along. You know how unreliable I am without you, Ciel. You, you just keep in mind that we had to organize a resistance force in order to defend ourselves. Yes, I will remember that, and now we are buying time for you to complete your research. Still, since X has not been resurrected yet, we couldn't ask for a better opportunity than now. Please allow me to carry out me uh, my me operation. Me operation. All right. But promise me one thing: do not be too strict. Oh, you have my. Excuse me, sir. It's about Zero. He was found lying unconscious just outside the base. What? Zero? This way! Zero! Zero! So, people found us. I wonder who brought us to this base. Zero. Hey, we're in the maintenance room. So for everyone here, they only have two maintenance things for Reploids. That's interesting. Just saying. Zero! I'm glad you're alive, Zero! Zero, you're functional again! You were in rough shape. I'm amazed you are still alive. Welcome back. Where am I? You are a new resistance base. Thanks to you, we were able to escape from Neo Arcadia and start a new life in this place. Thank you so much. I'm sorry that we weren't able to res come rescue you. Well, come on, CL Zero must be very tired. I know we you have lost to discuss with him, but why don't we let him rest for a bit? And Zero, I afraid that most of your weapons were broken, therefore I fixed them. I also created a new weapon. Why not? So why don't you come later to pick it up? Okay, so that's my voice acting. Okay, I'll go. I'll go here. I'll be in my lab for a while. Come talk to me when you're feeling better. Okay, so you won't be seeing too much of my voice acting, because it's pretty darn terrible. Look at that, dude. Right where Zero is right now. The S rank. Enjoy it while you can, because it's not going to be there for much longer. So, I'm going to Command Center. I'll do this part, though. My name is Ellipso. I have been appointed as the commander of this new resistance base. I've heard a lot about you. Please, lend us your support. Let's fight together and destroy Nero Arcadia. 
Destroyed Neo Arcadia, huh? It's not that easy. Then what are we gonna do? I don't know. <laughs> you are a funny redblood. Anyway, nice to meet you, Mr. Legend. Okay, that's pretty much most of the voice talk for around here. So, basically, most of Zero's weapons broke, like from the previous game, which explains why he doesn't have them, at least, compared to like Mega Man games where he just loses everything. And I went out the door. Let's go back in. So now we have, uh, this is Jiro. So basically, he's he makes his your weapons. You, there's really instructions. You can hook on things. I'll just show them myself, so don't worry about it. Okay, so I'll I'll put chain rod there, shield boomerang, buster is easy. You already know what this is. What the chain rod is. It lets you grab things, hold on to things. So it's pretty. It's it's a lot of fun to use. It really is. And this is from the first game, the Shield Boomerang. Which I can infinitely jump over. <laughs> See, if you hit it right against a wall, it's a little glitch. That I... It's probably... Everyone knows. But generally, I go this and Buster or Chain Rod as my first. So now let's go talk to CL. Sarah, are you okay? Uh-huh. That's good, I was so worried about you. We've been so, trying so hard to find you. I'm glad you found us. I found you? I came here before I lost consciousness? Do you remember what I'm working on? I'm conducting research that will develop a substance energy as, for energy. Making replacement energy crystals. <laughs> It's a great invention that can drastically change the world. Change the world? Neo Arcadia began its uh, iron fisted policy because of the energy shortage. In order to protect the human society, replies were discriminated against, labeled inferior citizens, and so were sent to concentration camps for retirement. History shows that an energy shortage in an area usually triggers a large-scale conflict. Once the substitute energy has been developed, the destructive conflict ends. When I was told this story to the Commander Ellipso, he laughed at it. He does say he will wait until I succeed in developing a subsequent energy, but in truth, Ellipso believes defeating the Arcadia is, what is the only way to regain peace. I have to finish this. I'll bring to the other world not with destruction but by the power of my science. My research is almost done. I still need a little more information, though. Anyway, I'm going to manage your data for you. If you need me, just come and talk to me anytime, okay? Save data. No! <laughs> Definitely. I'll save on this one, because that was my practice file for that one. So, basically, unlike this, um, X Games, where you, you, you just automatic, there's no, like, this is almost Metroidvania, it lets you, like, go through things in between stages. So, that's what I call Operation Righteous Strike. We are going to take advantage of the absence of X and thrust our forces upon Neo Arcadia. Victory is in your hands for a better tomorrow for all Reploids. For the future! Well, that was fast. <laughs> What? It is... Why? It's you, Zero! We are now preparing for an operation. Unlike the post-minor scale ones, this option will inflict a crushing blow to them. Once it succeeds, it will boost morale and the resistance. Yeah, Arcadia is not a sitting duck. We should not carry out a frontal assault. We should gain time with guerrilla operations and wait for CL to complete her research. Thank you for all the advice. We are going to continue with our guerrilla activities. We have gained strength, and we're ready to work it out by ourselves. I'm sorry. That was too harsh. Needless to say, we still appreciate your cooperation. Um, will you help? No. Yeah. You can't complain. Yeah, go, go to storm by yourself. I'm out of here. See ya. <laughs> this is like one of the best parts, being able to do that in a doorway. 
See, this is the best part about the chain rod. Okay, but for now, we're going to take on our first episode, uh, first mission in the next episode, and I look forward to seeing you guys then.